Hey there, welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. Um, yeah, we just beat the cultists that were trying to murder the auger. And, uh, yeah, now we can actually move on. I just think about having- oh wait, I never actually checked Butterfree's ability. It should be Compound Eyes, right? I think that's its only normal ability. Yeah. So that should be nice. Um, once I get Sleep Powder, this thing will be pretty great. Um, I don't really feel like training Snaz. Hopefully Leonardo gets a fighting type move soon. Um, but I'm pretty sure we can get a new encounter as soon as we come out of this first cave here. Telnor Cave, I think it's called. But we still have to go through the cave again. I should have bought a repel. I don't really think there's anything else in here that I can get. I thought I, I think I'm pretty sure I already got all the other items and stuff that was in this cave that I could get right now. Once I get Surf, I can come back here. Wait, actually, what's this? Nothing. Okay. I really wish I had a rappel right about now. can't escape. Okay, no, I thought it was because of uh, Arena Trap, but Arena Trap actually doesn't work on flying types, that's why I was about to be angry. Oh, there's a red ball here. I, can't, I always forget to touch those rocks, because a lot of times these rocks have like hidden items in them. So I'm guessing that, like, spot there is for hidden items. I was just spamming A, I didn't actually mean to pick that up, but that works. Uh, hard stone is useful. I can give that to Nosepass if it actually had a rock type move. Um, I guess I'll just give it now, because if I forget, then, you know. I probably should train up Nosepass a little bit more, though. Just to have it, especially if it gets rocked through soon. Okay, this is still Shade Forest, so this is not a new encounter. But this is Route 1, so this is a new encounter. I don't know what's here, so... Blitzel! I'm actually really happy with that. I like Blitzel. Zeb Strike is a cool Pokemon. And actually, I'm pretty sure there's a Mega Zeb Strike. I don't want to confuse it again and then have it hit itself. Stay in the ball, please. Oh, that hitting itself did a lot of damage. Yeah, if I had confused it and it hit itself, it would have died. Actually, I should switch. Uh, maybe not, because it might kill itself. <laughs> Let me throw a great ball. I should switch, because he lowered my defense and he could have spark. I don't know what Blitzel usually gets. Hmm. Uh, let's go with Marty. Unoriginal name. It's from Madagascar, but you know, it's fine. It's holding something, too. A cherry berry. Jolly! That's uh, pretty great, actually. Motor Drive, which is, you know, it's normal ability. It's, stats are fantastic! What? Okay, great! I'm uh, happy with this. Hello, you're gonna battle me. I just needed to get an electric type move. I don't know when that is. Uh, this is bad. Murko is actually really scary for me. Don't use wing attack, please. Just go for. Whoa! Okay, be careful. <laughs> they have pursuit. 
that's great. Well, a good thing it didn't kill me. <laughs> yeah, just keep using Astonish and not Wing Attack. I don't, it might not have a Wing Attack yet. It was bound to get at least one flinch there. I'll give that to him. Poison Powder. Better than nothing. Let's get rid of Harden. Stun Spore. It's better than nothing. Let's get rid of String Shot. Sleep Powder. Better than nothing. I'm getting rid of Tackle. I don't care about Tackle. I'd rather have all three Powders than Tackle. If I need to damage something else, I can Poison Powder it. If I encounter a Dark type. Um, I really want to go back and heal, but it's too far. I don't want to go back through that cave. Let me just use a potion. Hopefully the Pokemon Center is coming up soon, but I see a few trainers in front of me, so... <laughs> I'm gonna have to heal a little bit. I really want to get this Blitzel trained up, though. A lot of cool caves and places to explore in the Torn region. I hope to one day see all of them. The nice thing about Machop is there's no, like, <laughs> I don't have to think too much about it. I know it only has fighting type moves. Wigglypuff? Uh, maybe Marty can fight this. Well, maybe not. All I have is Quick Attack. That's probably gonna put me to sleep. What is this army voice? I forgot fairies existed. Um, oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Why am I telling myself that I did? Okay, let me not go into Leonardo because I don't want to get disarming voice and get one shot. Compound Eyes Sleep Powder is a blessing. Hopefully I get Hurricane on Butterfree too. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be a long, that'd be a long, long way around from uh, from right now though. So it'll be quite a while before that happens. But it'd be nice. Execute. Um. Uproar. Wow. Flinch. Okay, well at least it's slower, but uploaded a lot of damage. Marty learned Shockwave. That's not quite a physical one, but it's, it'll still work against this Krabby. Um, I should probably heal though. <laughs> Let me go into low fat, just because I don't want to have to heal. So strong. Okay. Uh, I guess I could go in that cave, but I feel like that's just like. I don't know. What's over here? There's one more guy. I'm just trying to get into the town. I want to heal so bad. Please, get out of the way. Thank you. Oh, that worked. Oh sweet, okay, cool. Let's heal and then I'll go back and fight those guys. That's one of my few Pokeballs. Okay, um... Let me just move Marty's Shockwave to the front. I'm pretty sure Zeb Strike isn't usually a physical attacker, right? I, hopefully Jolly's not bad. I don't actually remember what Zeb Strike's stats are like. I'm, I think it's physical. Oh, 
I don't really have that much for Paris. Just don't stun spore me. Okay. That's basically the same thing. Now I have to go back and heal again. Might as well let Marty take this out if I'm gonna go heal anyway. I do have charge too, so I can use charge to set up if I really need to kill something. Wait, is it not taking damage anymore? And health. Eight health, okay. Five. I don't know if they're gonna die from poison or not, so I don't even want to risk it. <laughs> they might not even. It probably works on like newer game rules where they won't die, but I don't want to even risk it. I don't want to find out. I might find out with a Pokemon I don't care about, but <laughs> like if Schnaz gets poisoned, I'll, I'll see what happens. I mean, I guess I shouldn't let Snodge die, because I don't know what new Megas are in this game. So there might be, like, a Mega Prova Pass, and I have wasted my Nose Pass. Uh... Okay, I went into this. Let me just find it. I really need a fighting type move. It is actually kind of crazy how many flinches Leonardo gets. No, 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 go back. Sonic. Oh, this guy's not even a trainer. Say, young one, would you like to trade Pokemon? Oh, uh, if I get a Totodile, I'll trade you my rarest Pokemon for one. That is very not specific. That doesn't sound like it'd be worth it to give you a Totodile for, but I'll probably do it anyways, just in case. If I get a Totodile, of course. Yeah, I'll leave it like that, because I can get a Sleep Powder in my encounter. Dark Cave. Oh, there's the exit. Uh, is there, any, is there anything else in here? Poochiana. That's fine. The sky is dark. Huh? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I missed, even with compound eyes. Apparently, the sky being dark lowers my accuracy. I might have to switch and damage it, because... I don't think this will catch. Oh, okay, sweet, it caught. Great, don't have to th jump through any hoops. Luciana is not a great Pokemon, but it could be worse. Oops, I'm gonna whack that. Um, what name this? Let's go with Hera. I don't know why. It is brave, which is okay. It's up attack. I don't really. I guess it doesn't need speed that much. Quick feet to make up for its speed drop. Attack up attack is good, but it has zero attack IVs. Always a great sight to see. All right, I don't plan on using that. I already have a dark type in my starter anyway, so why would I use Puchiana? Especially one that doesn't have intimidate. A beautiful garden. I love to play here with my Pokemon. What is this? There's a hidden grotto around here somewhere. A little passageway that takes to the trees. Sometimes they'll have Pokemon or items at the end. Great! So now I'm gonna have to remember where the hidden grottos are. I did that in black 2 and white 2 and that was really annoying, but I guess I'm gonna have to do it again here. Yep, it's right there. Oh, and she heals me! Nice.
Please be a Pokemon, I don't want it to come back. Ugh, oh, man. Okay, well, I'll come back here whenever it resets. And then I'll try to catch the Pokemon in here. Because technically, Hidden Grottos are static encounters. So I can come back here to get whatever is Pokemon is here whenever it happens. I wonder what the sky is dark means. I think it's a new weather effect of some kind. I honestly wish I got Purloin instead. That would have been a good encounter. Plus, I like Lightheart a lot. Okay, cool. We finally have uh, some more Pokemon. Although, I don't really want to use Fuchiana, but it's still good to have as throwaway bait. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm obviously not going to try to have that happen, but just in case it happens, then I have a, you know, plan. Let me actually explore the city. Oh, he has a Wii. I'm just going to steal the Great Ball that you left on your floor. It's mine now. There's a trade? I'll trade you a Ghastly for my, a Dorant or a Heatmore. That sounds like a great trade. If I get a heat more. I mean, Durant might be worth the keep, actually. But, um, yeah, if that happens, then I... Sorry, I was looking at the water. I just realized how they did the deepening effect. Because it's just, like, other lakes underneath the regular lake to make it seem like the lake is deep. It's interesting, but it also, like, looks weird. <laughs> I'm guessing it's the Statue of the Augur. Um... I guess I should probably talk to everyone here. Hello. Nothing else in this Pokemon Center, is there? No. It's just the backspace I can go to. Incredible all the clothes you can buy in the Torn region. Okay. Now if you're looking to make some pocket change, I hear someone at the broadcast tower in Suntouch City is looking for trainers. Oh, what? Leftovers? In the first town? I'll take it. I'll take that. Let's give that to... I guess it's probably best on low fat. Yeah, let's give it to low fat, because then low fat can like put things to sleep and use that time to heal. You know. Also, it's the tankiest one on the team, so... Well, if we get back to Naruto, we'll use to climb these rocks. Work up! Yeah, I really need to start talking to everyone. Even these people outside are just people I should talk to. Hello. I'm the Pika Taxi Guy. My taxi for a low cost of 500 will get you wherever you need to go. This is basically just fly. Um, well, yeah, so we can use it to fly to different towns even when I don't have fly yet. Wait, what did he say? There's a lot of cool new Megas that have only been seen in Torrent. Typhlosion, Eevee, Marowak. If I had gotten a Cubone in this cave, that would be a new Mega. Now I'm disappointed that I got this uh, Nose Pass. <laughs> but it's okay, maybe there is a Mega Purple Pass. Let's see if anyone can learn work up. Oh, really? I thought at least Poochiana would be able to. Strange how no one on my team can learn it. I also need to talk to the Pokemon, because the Floatzel gave me leftovers. It's not even just the people I have to watch out for. Elekid for any Bug-type Pokemon. An Elekid? That would be really cool, but I'm not giving you low fat. If I get another bug type that I don't like, I'll give it to him. I have to remember that's there. These people have a wooden floor, and they have a Macargo on the wooden floor. That sounds like not safe at all. Whenever people see me, they expect me to be mean, but I'm a nice guy. Great. Psychic gem. 
Cool. Usually I don't use gems. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was spamming A. Well, I guess I got a Firestone. I think she let me choose between multiple stones, which is bad, because I think Firestone's like the worst one to get. The best one's like Waterstone, just because of how many Pokemon evolve with Waterstone. But if I ever get a Growlithe, I guess that'll be good. Or, uh, I don't know, what else? Ninetales. Let's find this girl named Nora. Okay, I can't go that way yet. There's a TM there that I can't get to right now. Is that everything in this town? There's a cave here. I think I talked to everyone. Hopefully I did. Trainer school. Where'd she have gone off to? We can't start without her. What's the problem? Welcome to the trainer school. I'm the teacher here. I'm hoping to raise young boys and girls to become trainers. Take classes here, I'll be happy to teach you what I know. I guess you're sign me up. We're actually just about to start a tournament between our students. If you want to join, it would be a great way to practice. Unfortunately, one of our students, Nora, seems to have gone missing. We can't start the tournament without her, so you have to wait. Well, I guess I'll have to find her. Okay. Well, I'm guessing she's in this uh, cave, because it's the only place I can go. What's back here? A super potion. I can give the psychic gem to Butterfree. Like, just for like some kind of gym battle, I guess. That, I guess that wouldn't be bad. Usually I don't use gems, but I, I, I actually want to force myself to use it. Just because I always forget to use them if I don't use it, so... I'm gonna have to remember to give that to Butterfree at some point, maybe for the first gym or something. Okay. Uh, encounter time? It's a fan theme. That's kinda bad. Not because Don Fan sucks, but because Fan Fee doesn't learn any good moves. Fan Fee has like the worst moveset of any ground type. I don't think it actually learns any ground type moves until it's evolved into Don Fan. And even when it is a Don Fan, I think it's like five levels before it actually gets a ground type move. I don't know if they actually changed it in the recent games or in this game, but usually Fan Fee sucks to use. It's a great Pokemon. But I'm not gonna use it right now because I already know that its move set's bad. Um, let's go with Sasha. Sasha the fan beat. Quiet, which is. I mean, I guess that's not that bad. Minus speed doesn't matter that much. And, I mean, up special attack, it's it's basically like having a neutral nature here, because this doesn't matter. It's picked up, so I'm going to keep it with me. And it has pretty good IVs except for HP. I feel like that's a, a trend. Let's make sure that Marty gets a little bit more training. Actually, let me try to get Leonardo to 15 first, just in case I get a fighting type move at 15. I'm trying my best to get a fighting type move here. These fighting types out of here. I'm just sleep powdering it here because. I know that Timber gets Rock Throw, and I'm not sure what level it gets Rock Throw at. I'm pretty sure it's like 15, but I'm not taking a risk here. I'm just gonna put it to sleep and kill it. Cricket Tots. So Cricket Tots interesting. I'm actually gonna lead with uh, Charge instead of Shockwave. Okay. Just because they sometimes like to go for Bide. It looks like this one actually has attacks. Yeah, I wish single-use items came back between battles. It's really annoying that they don't. I mean, I get that's the point that it's just single-use, but I mean... 
in game it makes them just hard to use like focus sash you can't really use it without just losing it they should come back after battle honestly that's what i think like gems and stuff that then i definitely use gems i mean i guess gems would basically just be z moves at that point but <laughs> but i think it would still be better there were drill burn in here now I'm immensely disappointed about Fanpy. As good as Dawn Fan is, it is not. This rock looks breakable. Well, I don't have Rock Smash. Um, as good as Dawn Fan is, it is not Excadrill good. Nothing's Excadrill good. I can say move. Dang it. <laughs> Lunatone. Um, actually, I could stay in and I'll get level 16. Let's do that. Plus, it's the safest thing anyways. Uh, Lunatone and Soulwalk are threatening to my entire team. These are some strong Pokemon to be fighting this early. Vacuum Wave. That is a, one of the best fighting type moves I could have gotten, honestly. <laughs> Let's get rid of Torment, uh, or Withdraw. No, let's get rid of Torment. I'd rather not have Torment. And Leonardo's evolving. I completely forgot it evolved at 16. Sweet! That looks pretty cool, actually. I like its ears. Its tails look a little too fleshy for Wartwettle, though, but... Hey. Mild still. It's a pretty good special attack. Special attack compared to Butterfree. It's like the same. It's a little bit higher, but that's only because I'm three levels higher. Um, yeah, it still has garbage HP, but hey. <laughs> Can't really do anything about that. Let's make sure Vacuum Waves in the front because it's actually a special attack. Yeah, my special attack's definitely much higher. Cool, I'm happy about this. Let's try to train up Marty a little bit too. I'm only really using three members of my team right now, but. Oh, that'll, that'll change a little later. For now, I'm just going to try to get high enough level to survive. Um, I'm going to end this episode here. I didn't realize it was going on for so long. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll probably find that girl that we're looking for at some point. Bye.